Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to episode four. This time I'm going to show you this nice little ship. This is a patrol ship um, belonging to a, a institution devoted to the surveillance of the space routes. So this would be something like the Coast Guards. This is a ship designed to um, travel very long distances, typically between the Earth and Mars. And this ship is important because at some point in the story, uh, we'll have to reach the space cruise ship because it will be starjacked. Is that a word? Starjacked? Well, anyway, this ship that is called Argos is going to confront the Starjackers at some point. It is called Argos because um, while I was looking for names for the ships, it occurred to me that it could be using the um, names of ancient cities like Argos in Greece. So uh, in the story, maybe you will see some other of these ships with names like Nazareth, Troy, whatever. Here you can see that is made with the typical subdivision technique to improve the basic resolution of the mesh. And of course I had to take my time to do all these creases and some freestyle edges for getting all the lines and details I need when rendering. And of course a great deal of materials for achieving all these different kind of effects. Well, similar to what we did with the space cruise ship. One innovation we are trying here is uh, how to achieve this typical specularity from 1980s, 1990s uh, anime mecha spaceships. On. And this seemed to be working quite well, I think. So what I did was to take these areolites and make it very extended. So they are being reflected like two strikes. And in the light properties, I reduce volume and uh, diffuse to zero, so they don't affect the lighting of the object, or only the specular. Using two of them seem to be enough to achieve the effect. And of course, uh, I keep the sunlight for generating um, more normal specular in some more rounded areas. Now, another important effect was uh, to get this effect that was typically drawn around uh, creases in the, in the objects. And the way to achieve it is relatively simple. Uh, we have to look for these areas where you see uh, some sharp edges. And well, then using a, another material, and using the UV mapping as a reference, uh, we draw these lines on the edges. And that we have to blur these lines and give it the um, correct tone. And then we use it as a bump map here in this slot. And that generate this effect where the light seems to be scattered across the creases. So that's it. Now I leave you with a render when you can see all those other details made with the freestyle effects and I'll see you in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.